oh yeah i went to i went to retextured right retextures is a night that um the crank brothers um promotion arm put on you know the guys who are responsible for some very memorable parties here in london and they put on together an event called retextured i think i went to one a couple of years ago maybe before maybe longer than oh 2018 they did a night where they had nina kravis play at some woven stove assembly hall thing and they had these other events in london so i think they had it in like four different places or three different places across london unconventional spaces fully kitted out like i don't know how much money they must have spent on those nights but you know production was like Oh, out of this out of this world um and the nina kravis event was fucking sick like how they produced it they had like this massive led kind of screen i think was it a screen or was it a board let me see what i think it was let's say it was a screen they had this massive rectangular screen behind her no no lights on the dj booth so it was just like her outline and then there'll be graphics kind of blaring up on the screen and then sometimes there'll be a silhouette of her kind of enlarged dancing and doing that crazy thing that she does behind the decks and it was fucking sick to watch and the sound was incredible bespoke stuff and the only thing that was a bit horrible about it was the bar the bar was crazy crazy expensive but you know again you gotta make your money back somehow but in terms of production and how they put it together seamless they even made the cloakroom situation work even though it was a tight space to go downstairs and all that stuff it was really well done so they got this other event called retextured happened to get a free ticket courtesy of the tech the techno um whatsapp group it's an extension of the subreddit there's a whatsapp group for london people only if you want it i'll put an invite link in the description so definitely join there if you're from london and you want to get to know people in the techno scene in london and you or you just don't want to go out on your own or you want to maybe sell a ticket no actually or you want to give away a ticket which i've done a couple of times and i've got some free tickets on there um you can grab a free ticket from there on the night if you want to go to an event or you can go meet some people up if you don't want to go on your own it's a fairly sick crew i think overall in general on there so definitely click the invite link and get involved if you haven't been before but yeah this event was an e1 it had actress baby t daniel avery jess crank brother and spf dj playing um obviously went to go see daniel avery jess and spf dj um i saw the end of daniel avery i saw most of jess and i saw a bit of spf dj before i had to duck out and get to work but not a bad night i have to say the only issue is i have with it is e1 e1 is such a bizarre venue like legitimately one of the most like what is quite, it's quite a schizo venue that's it it just doesn't have an identity it's a bit of an open slate right um during lockdown it was it turned into like um a sort of weird table service kind of thing right with loads of tech house people playing then sometimes it's got like afterlife guys playing then it's got people like this playing right and then it's got i think there's nothing like they did where it was sort of like essentially just like an extension of an about blank lineup or something before it got cancelled right those kind of like berlin favorites so it's a very weird nut space um then sometimes they have like this you know crazy italian nights right where all the italians come out and support their favorite djs and shit but it's a bit strange and of course the security like there's like you know mm, it feels like there's like some some nights especially if you go in this quiet it feels like there's more security staff working there than actual clubbers it's fucking crazy um one of the best things i love about it is they've got a little chill out room as you're approaching the entrance to your left there's a little space there where you can kind of relax and chill out which is quite nice kind of gather your thoughts you know whatever if you don't want to go to smoking you, know, you just want to relax and chill that's the area to go in two main rooms main room and the other room i forgot what it's called i think it's a warehouse room or something um pretty decent obviously the main room with the massive speaker on the wall or the massive wall speaker wall that's one of the best places to be at make sure you carry your earplugs obviously if you're like me just fuck it out and just let your ears vibrate and then you feel the damage the next couple of days but it is what it is good lighting produced pretty well um they have a thing it seems like with them um, what you call it the stage was it stage on this oh the stage there was a lack of people standing behind the dj which i quite like sometimes i think it's good nowadays with the young kids it feels like they're a lot more they're a lot more they're a lot more willing to be club kids right so they kind of go out put on crazy outfits dance really great you know go at it for like the duration of the night it feels like they're on the dance floor it feels like it's like a mission for some of these kids to be on the dance floor for as long as possible right without going to the toilet they're like on it it's like sonic which is sick to see um and a lot of these guys have kind of you know stood behind the decks and decided to dance similar to what they do at possessions um so that kind of vibe is great it's great to see i'd much prefer to see the kind of kids that do those kind of stuff where they're like you know techno dancing behind a dj 
in those sort of raves as opposed to all the minimal tech house dudes from back in the day who would just be like standing me on a booth you know trying to look hot and trying to look cool like it was a vip section right similar to what you'd see from those martinez brothers sort of click and those kind of people so i preferred that but you know seeing it empty was a bit strange but still regardless good crowd decent venue i saw a good crowd um uh, in general the venue again still skit so the security way too i think heavy-handed personally for me just for how the especially when you think of the people going i don't know it's hard to say in it because london's weird man be like i feel like in general us brits are a little bit reckless i think if you leave us to our own devices we'll burn that place down in a fucking hour maybe less than an hour so sometimes you need to be sort of babied in clubs in order for it just to function and as well you know people can't take chances anymore with all the stuff that's been going on in clubs and people overdosing and whatnot or taking bad shit so i definitely get it in some respects but in other respects it can feel a little bit it can be a bit of a vibe killer you know even if you're not on stuff just in general having people like you know searching you opening your wallet you know really getting into your pits and your balls and shit to search make sure you got nothing on you then you're going in and people are flashing the lights everywhere it's a bit it's a bit much but then to be fair to them i don't think i've ever it was a bit of a culture shock again not a culture shock but it was a bit of a wake-up call to to remind of what it's like to club in england as opposed to clubbing in places like berlin and stuff because obviously there the culture is more so you never do anything on the on the dance floor right it's all drugs and all that sort of like illicit undertakings always done in the toilets and it's an understanding that everyone has that that stuff is happening but you just kind of you're adults you just do what you do and because the clubs are open till late people are a little bit more i would say grown up about their drug taking it's not so excessive people don't get sloppy even the drinking wise if anything you see more people drunk than fucking hammered when it comes to drugs out i think so when you're out in berlin and places like that maybe i'm not going to the right places but i've seen people more sloppy drunk than i've seen them really you know caned caned out of their mind but here in the uk we have two issues we have you know generally we're a country of alcoholics and then secondly our clubs and bars aren't open long enough so people have to get it in really quickly so when I was back on the dance floor at E1, it was quite a wake-up call to see people on the dance floor, you know, taking bumps and stuff, you know, like quite openly. Of course, you know, making sure the security guards didn't see them, but it was a thing. Like people weren't, you know, boom, 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 which was odd because I think, hmm, would you want to see people take, you're taking drugs this or you just want to be doing them in private, you know, you don't want, I don't know, there's something weird about that. But regardless, you know, they were kids, so let them enjoy themselves. So that was interesting to see but so which, which led me to believe which which obviously is a follow-on to the point i said about the security guards you know maybe they're over maybe they are heavy-handed but maybe there's a reason to be because you know literally everyone on the dance floor was taking bumps of their shit which is fine do your thing um the dancing was cool the music was cool spf dj smashed it um jazz was really impressive I've, obviously i've seen loads of spf dj streams and shit and listened to her mixes so i kind of got an idea what she's about but jazz was very very impressive i think if i'm not mistaken what do i oh what's it? is it malajunta's jazz is that she she part of malajunta or am i not am i mistaken either way i think i might have discovered jazz from whore as well berlin so she was great to see live um amazing amazing set and just in general good fun crowd i gotta be honest very strange craft crowd, crowd to be fair very young crowd that's from something i very i did notice i think a lot of these guys playing especially the girls are definitely the new favorites of this newer generation and they came to see and support them um so if this was probably the first time in a long time i felt very old in the club i've definitely noticed that i was like jesus man this is a very cool young hip crowd and i'm definitely not cool young and hip anymore so it was cool to have a little bit of a distance that way and just enjoy it as a sort of gig like i said before i think the lockdown has definitely kind of matured my going out my kind of clubbing experience or going out experience if anything i usually if anything, I'm more prone to getting caned and fucked up when I'm going to like a pirate studios to go mix, or if I'm going to like a bar or a cocktail bar or something, right? It's not that I'm not doing it at the same level as I would do in clubs beforehand. Clubs would be like the place where I just get absolutely wobbly. Or now, what I might do going forward as well is just like, you know, even though I was taking a piss out of ticketed events, is maybe leave all that stuff for ticketed events. You know what I mean? Big events that I want to go to festivals maybe trips abroad and shit that might be a place where you get moldy but when it comes to just going to see people play for here and there i much prefer to do it because again I, I was there for like a total of like four hours do you know what i mean i went to go see a couple of people playing and i basically left at about five i think or half five so i wasn't there too long um yeah i think two to like half five i think i was uh, two two to half five i think i think about that but yeah um decent night very much enjoyed it again um 
probably the oldest I've ever felt in a nightclub, which is a good thing, I think. Again, um, it's good to see the young kids doing their thing. Um, like I said, I think they're far more better influence on the nightlife scene than we were i think they enjoy themselves a lot more they get dressed up as well they're really into the whole club kid thing um they dance a lot um they're just on it do you know what i mean really really on it i think that was, that was a very very fun group to go and see um it's just a shame that i kind of was sticking out like a sore thumb i felt like i was walking past crowds groups of little young kids thinking that they were judging my outfit and shit i felt so uncool it was horrible but yeah big up them regardless um yeah enjoyed it and again just well produced night in terms of production i think the sound was great the lighting was great you know crank brothers retexture they always do a great job so definitely something to kind of keep an eye on but again like i said e1 is a very schizophrenic venue man they don't really not really sure what they want to be they're a bit all over the place but you know in terms of kind of distance from where i live and ease of getting there and familiarity of the venue i can't complain really so big up that that was one of the main occasions that i went to